All right, it's time to test the ball point. Now, since I'm already a mini splatling main, I feel like this wouldn't be too hard of a hard of a transition. I may have already touched on this a little bit. I've once started already, so yeah, this shouldn't be too hard of a transition. Yeah, and I already I already know the gear for this. <laughs> yeah, just gonna be using my mini splatling gear. Two run speed up and ink recovery. <sighs> Let's see what all. Let's first. Let's find out what this hype. What all the hype is with this weapon. All right. Let's get started. All right then. As far as it looks, this, this, what this is like turfing wise is, eh. This is kind of meh. <laughs> oh, that poor squiffer. <laughs> I know the pain. <laughs> Short range version version on this on this weapon is so weird. <laughs> it makes fighting so weird. Ah, uh, tries Luca. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! It literally just died. <laughs> I totally forgot I had a fizzy bomb. <laughs> uh, explain. <laughs> oh my gosh! I was just mainly just running around with a main weapon. I I didn't even use a. I only used a fizzy bomb once. <laughs> That's not even... What? Are you kidding me? That kills so fast. So if I get up close to somebody, all I need to do is just like hold it for like a split second and it's, it's enough to, make, <laughs> to get a quick kill. Oh my gosh, I don't even, I don't even see many ballpoint players use that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I guess this is an okay, this is an okay painter. <laughs> it's okay at painting. Come on. Follow me. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> oh, I hate Krakens. See, the fact that I'm doing all this and I, t I literally, uh, it's the second time already, I literally forgot I, that I had a fizzy bomb on me. <laughs> this is, oh man. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, looks like it's over. <laughs> Just in Terra 4, I can I can already see. Yeah, I'm already seeing why that why many people <laughs> use this weapon. I'm always seeing this weapon in high level matches. Maybe not as much as T Tex, but yeah, but just enough for me to notice. <laughs> properties on this the properties on this weapon, however, uh, this makes this, this makes spacing so weird. <laughs> I guess you just gotta know ahead of time on when on what you're on what you're how you're gonna fight. 
Because this can work really well with short range. <laughs> but you have to know when to back up and do long range stuff. And the fact that this weapon has the capability of doing that. Alright. Let's let's see how this does in tower control. Should it be me taking the, taking out that charger? I don't know. <sighs> well, if it ain't me, then who else? some point in these next these next few matches I I gotta remember that I actually have a good kit <laughs> it just won't be for this match though <laughs> okay I think I know well at least I have an idea on what I want to do so confusing I just I don't know where to position myself and that doesn't help <laughs> this weapon is so man, I had the same I was having the same vibe as the last time I was using it, it this this weapon feels weird. It, just, it doesn't feel it just doesn't feel right, right? Because like a large part of Splatoon is about positioning. Where the heck are you supposed to how are you supposed to supposed to position yourself up on with this? Just me, me dying to e-leaders all the time. And Krakens. thinking how often I'm not thinking about it how often do <laughs> how often do who ballpoint users actually use the long range mode <laughs> okay maybe I should just approach it with with the as a, like a mini like with a mini splat link there we go
Why do I keep running into bombs like that? <sighs> Nasty habit of mine. Hello. Okay. Okay. Just great. Can you see me? <laughs> okay, that was a uh, that was a lot better than the first two. <sighs> Honestly, my takeaways on this, I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble understanding why is this? Why is this weapon liked so much? I don't get this. I I literally don't get this. Actually, hold on. <laughs> I need to I need to figure this out. Uh, where's some double dualies? Even though I haven't even though I haven't tested these yet. That's yeah, that's literally the same range. <laughs> I swear, do people actually just do people just use this for the sake of inkjet? Cause I know, cause obviously Inkjet is a really powerful special right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually thinking that because I feel like this weapon would get overwhelmed. So, <laughs> this, yeah, this I feel like this weapon could get could easily get overwhelmed by a by a lot of other weapons. <laughs> Simply because the short range on this is it's really that's really that's really bad actually. That's a that's not good range for the short range part, and it has a, it obviously has great long range, but that helpless state. That helpless state. Let's see, what if I did like what if I did like a one cycle? You're stuck in a helpless state for like two seconds. And uh, I don't I'm not a I'm not a, the biggest expert on Splatoon, but it's two I think two seconds is kind of a long time. Especially in a fight. Because fights don't last for fights don't even last for that long. I don't wanna. I don't want to. I don't want to just yell overrated. I I don't want to yell that because it's still this is still relatively new to me. <laughs> but after playing this weapon for so long, maybe play with it more. I mean, yeah, I'll definitely do that. But <laughs> uh, my initial thoughts on this is usually with when I make these videos, I always want to give off my initial thoughts on a weapon because I've. For most of the weapons that I've tried, I feel like I've feel like I've been able to get a get a healthy like a healthy theory of one on how the weapon should be used. And for the ballpoint, this weapon is so this weapon is so confusing. I know that this weapon weapon is so good, but yeah, I, people like love to use this weapon, especially at high level. But I'm just trying to figure out what the heck is so special about this. <sighs> Maybe I'll play with it. Yeah, I'll definitely play with it more. Yeah, I hope, yeah, I'll definitely yeah I'll definitely try to figure out more about this weapon. I tried. I have played with this weapon for a few hours and I still don't understand what this weapon's role is. I tried using it as an aggressive weapon. It didn't really work out. I tried using it as a long range weapon. It didn't really work out. The kit that this weapon has is really good. With a fizzy bomb and an inkjet, it works really well as a kit. But for the main weapon itself, it feels like another one of those weapons that's trying to do two things at once. And that is honestly not a good thing. Weapons that try to do multiple things at once is not really a good sign. Because usually that means you can obviously do both of them, but you don't excel in either one of them. Honestly, my final takeaways from this weapon is it's a weapon. It's not a bad weapon, 
but in no way in heck am I going to say that this is a good weapon. It's just a weapon. That's all I got to say for it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. Be sure to check out my Twitch. I play multiple games over there, including Splatoon and some other games. And leave a comment on this video. I'm always happy to hear feedback. And I'll see you in the next episode where we try a new weapon. See ya.